Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, I want to ask you a question. I'm going to show you some stuff I just found that made me think of this question, but my question is going to be, what are the, the regional or local uh, books of interest, items of interest, that you find in your area that are that that you find a lot of and that are really sp specific to your area and and I'd like to hear what what your stuff is. I won't tell you what what I find a lot of. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, you you see a lot of this stuff coming up, and it's and it's because of where I am. You know, in the North Alabama Huntsville, Alabama Rocket City area area they call it right. So um, I look forward to hearing what what you find. In your area so before i jump in i want to say thanks thanks for the views for the you know the channel support your comments and hey you guys keep you guys keep watching i'll keep making these and we'll see what happens so if, if you've watched my videos for any length of time you have probably seen me show quite a bit of nasa related stuff i find a lot of nasa uh books um you know different you know you know, sometimes photos, patches, things like that. And the reason is, is that, you know, Huntsville, Alabama and North Alabama is known as the Rocket City, but you know, it's, it's where it's the birthplace of American rocketry, really with, you know, the, the German scientist and Werner von Braun came to, you know, Huntsville, you know, to Redstone Arsenal, which, which what's now called Redstone Arsenal. And actually our, the Civic Center here is still called the VBC, the, the Von Braun Center. Um, you know, there's, there's uh, you know, my neighbor actually, uh, he worked for a small company in the 60s and he, he actually had met and worked with Werner Von Braun. So it's kind of like this, you know, you, you, space and rocket centers here, all these things. But there's also Marshall Space Flight Center is out on Redstone Arsenal. And so because of the Space Flight Center, NASA engineers, all these, there's just a lot of NASA things that show up at thrift stores and state sales from, you know, it's families and engineers and people that work for the programs. You know, in fact, my, my wife, her dad, my wife moved here in the 60s. Her dad uh, had graduated uh, from, from St. Louis and then went to work at NASA. And what's so kind of fun about that is I found... A, uh, he worked on the Mercury program and uh, uh, lots of other stuff too, but he started on the Mercury program. But I found this old uh, NASA um, Marshall Space Flight telephone directory from 1968. And I actually got one from 1967. It's actually, I've got a couple more up on my shelf up here. And it has his uh, name and phone number, desk number and stuff is all in here. So it's kind of kind of cool for the family, right? This is not for sale. This is, this is a key for just for that reason. But let me show you some of the other NASA stuff I found. Uh, just at, at an estate sale, uh, just, just it was like two weeks ago, this section been sitting here, been meaning to make this video and you know, things been kind of busy, but I'm getting ready to list this stuff. So I wanted to, to, to show it to you and it's all gonna go on eBay. But here's an example of this one called Engineer in Charge, okay? This is actually a history of Langley, uh, the Langley Aeronautics Center. And it's, um, you know, you'll see lots of times on the NASA books, I've been commenting on this before, there'll be this NASA, if it's an official publication, it'll give you a NASA and SP number. So this this is about, um, I see this one listed for about 20, 20 bucks. I got all of these books for um, 50 cents each. It was like, they're a dollar, it was like half price day, but anyway. So this is only about a $20 book, but it's really cool, right? Now here's another one that was at the same sale, and this is, this one's really cool. It's about a $45 book. I have sold comps of 45 on this one. Managing NASA in the Apollo era. And you can see the NASA official pubs. When you list these books, if you find stuff like this, I've said this before, you put the title and then make sure that you put the NASA SP number in your title, right? It helps. But you know, I was going to see if they had any Apollo photographs. This, a lot of times these are lots of words and not so much, uh, not so much photos. Um, yeah, this one doesn't have a lot of flashy photos, but yeah, $45, pretty good for 50 cents. All right. Then there are a lot of this and I'm not sure, look, NASA Skylab, I'll show you the covers. So there was, there was Skylab classroom in space, uh, biomedical results from Skylab. 
and see they all have the NASA pub numbers. Um, solar results from Skylab. ERIP, I'm not sure what this stands for. Engineering Review so, Investigation Summary for Skylab. And then Skylab's Astronomy and Space Sciences, okay? So all those were Skylab books. They're all in this, this one basement living room. This person in the state cell must have worked for NASA. They had them. I'm certain that they worked for NASA. So they, um, I'm not sure on those if I'm going to sell those as a lot. So I'm, th I'm kind of thinking, I see the biomedical one, I have a sold comp for like 10 bucks. Some of the others I've seen like more like 30 bucks. I may just put all those together and put a price on them. You know, there's what, um, there's five of them. You know, I may put them out there for um, 75, 80 bucks, see what happens. Maybe, maybe even a hundred bucks. I don't know, I'll do a little more research. All right, here's the last thing that I found at this sale that made me think about this. This was these proceedings, okay? So it's the proceedings of the Space Shuttle Sortie Workshop. Volume one was policy and system characteristics. And then here's working group reports. What's kind of cool about this, if you don't, I mean, this is getting into like connectors and stuff, right? What's amazing about this is this was in 1972, right? It shows how long it takes, you know, sometimes, at least I guess in the government, to, you know, get this stuff going. So, you know, I can remember all the space shuttle things in the 80s, but, you know, we're talking 1972, you know, they're having these proceedings. So this is real specialty item that somebody who's really a, you know, a NASA space shuttle type enthusiast might be something that they want for their collection or they, it's just interesting, right? I haven't found any comps for these. I'll sell them together as a, as a workshop proceedings from NASA. You know, they're official stuff, right? So, that's just an example of something that that I find a lot of that, to be honest, you know, in, in other parts of the country, you're not going to find this stuff probably, you know, or you're going to find one here, one there, whatever. But I can find NASA stuff very regularly, right? So I'm interested in your area. What do you find that's like regionally or specific to your town that, that you have really good resale potential for? And that really it's, it's, you don't, nobody else finds it or they don't find it as easily as you. It could be something from a local, you know, baseball, football team, you know, some other, you know, whatever. It could be some, if you were out in Texas, maybe you're next to, you know, Fort Bliss or Fort Hood and you get a lot of army stuff or, you know, something like that, right? I'm just interested in seeing what, what's out there for other, you know, other parts of the country. So that's it. Just thought I would share, you know, a couple little things. One, this cool, uh, you know, telephone directory that's got my father-in-law. He passed away in 2013, but it's got his where he worked at NASA in 1968, the Mercury program. And just, um, you know, if you didn't know something about Huntsville being the Rocket City, you know, there you go. Just check it out sometimes. It's pretty cool. So we'll talk to you soon. Uh, see cool, bye cool.